Hi, everyone. My name is Stephen Boydston. Uh, I would just like to thank everyone for joining us today for this quick orientation session for the Knowledge Translation for Employment Research Center uh, research and training activity. Uh, I will hand it off here in a second to Jerry Rasmussen, who will be going over some of the details on how to access the Moodle platform. But before that, I just want to go over a few quick uh, instructions about the Adobe Connect room, just to let you know what some of the features are. And with that, I can thank everyone, and I uh, will pass it off to Jeremy. <clears throat> thank you, uh, Stephen. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for coming to today's meeting. The uh, purpose of this meeting is to discuss how to access both the autism and transition age youth trainings, provide step-by-step -step instructions, and answer any questions you may have in the future. My name is Jimmy Rasmussen, as Stephen uh, pointed out, and I work for the uh, Knowledge Translation for Employment Research Center, otherwise known as CATER. The CATER Center is funded by the National Institute on Disability Independent Living and Rehabilitation Research, otherwise known as NIDLER, and provides technical assistance to researchers, researchers related to improving employment outcomes among individuals with disabilities. Uh, just to let everyone know, we are going to record today's session, and after we conclude here today, we will also be sending you the slides and a link to the archived version. Uh, we will also be sending you a link to the courses, um, and just to let everyone know, I am also joined by my colleague, Elizabeth uh, Frankenzel, who has been leading a uh, a big portion of this work, and of course, Stephen, who you've already met. <clears throat> so all of you were asked to attend this meeting because you are participating in a research and training activity. The research study seeks to examine training supervisors as a conduit for training staff. You have been randomized into choosing a training in either autism or pre-employment transition services. Other vocational rehabilitation supervisors have been randomized into an ethics training. All of you should have completed the first questionnaire. In approximately six months, you will receive another questionnaire. If your agency allows, you will also receive a $20 gift card after each questionnaire you complete. When you first arrive at the website, you will see this home page right in front of you here. You're going to want to uh, scroll down the page and click on the Adult Learning Principle course link to get started. If you are assigned to the Students with Disabilities course group, you will see that, uh, that course on the right instead of the ASD in employment. Once you click on the Adult Learning Principles course link, you will see this login page. Create a new account. Please don't log in as a guest. If you log in as a guest and complete the course, you will not receive credit, since we won't be able to link your results to a registered name. <clears throat> Let's fill out the form, and then make sure to save your username and password somewhere secure so you can recall again for uh, future logins. Uh, after that, you will get a message to confirm your account. Once you click on the confirmation link from your email, it will take you to this screen. Click the course buttons to continue. You should now be able to access the Adult Learning Principle course. Click on the link to begin. Once you have selected the link, it will take you to the page on enrollment options. Click on the Enroll Me button to enroll in and start the course. Here is the course page. You must first complete the pretest before you can access course materials. Now, here's a screenshot of the pretest page. Only one attempt is allowed for the pre and post test. The accessible course presentation contains the uh, slide text and transcript for each slide in an accessible PD, uh, PDF format. Once you finish taking the course videos, you must complete the post-test before you can access the next course. 
When you complete the post-test, you will see a message that contains an enrollment key. This will be the key to access the second course. Copy it and then click the link that takes you to the second course. You will also be able to see your results by clicking on Review. Paste this into the enrollment key field. You will now have access to the uh, second course. Just like the previous course, there is a pre- and post-test. The second course works the same way as the first course, except that you will need to read the uh, scoping review summary uh, for the TUI. It's uh, entitled, How Can Vocational Counselors Improve Employment Outcomes Among Students with Disabilities? It's saying something very similar for the ASD one. And then after you are going to complete the final quiz on the trainings, once you've completed the uh, first quiz, the course presentation, and the final quiz, you will receive C uh, CRC credit within two months for completing the courses. In order to receive CRC uh, credit, you will need to complete the course by the end of this month. In addition, we'll be reaching out to you to set up monthly calls for the next six months to answer questions and see how everyone, uh, how everything is going. Uh, this will also be an opportunity to ask questions for the Transition Aged Youth or Autism Technical Working Group. Uh, are there any questions at this point? And see, we have a participant uh, typing in the chat. Yeah, um, thank you for your question, Deanna. Um, we would like the uh, to everyone to complete the course by the end of this month, by the end of um, October. Uh, are there any more questions? We will be, thank you for your uh, question, Anna. We will be following up with you um, via email, and we will be sending you a link to the course. That should come, um, what do you think, Stephen, uh, early next week? Hi, everyone. Yeah, um, after we're able to archive this, we'll be sending out the link uh, to access the course as well, including the PowerPoint slides and the materials from today just for reference. So I would hope that we would have that done early next week, hopefully by Monday or Tuesday. Thanks, Stephen. Uh, any last questions before uh, we move on? All right. Um, again, uh, as I said at the beginning, this was a pretty uh, short um, presentation. Uh, thanks again for attending. Uh, just as a reminder, um, as Stephen just said, we'll be following up shortly to provide you with the slides, a link to the archived version of the session, and a link to the actual training. Uh, if you have any questions in the meantime, please contact Stephen Boydston, who, uh, whose contact information is on the slide. Uh, uh, thank you again, everyone.